I'm gonna show you some fabulous things that you can find from Dollar Tree to put inside a sensory bin. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. I did a video maybe about a year ago about the top 10 busy bag items that you should buy from the Dollar Tree. And this is a follow-up video to that for sensory bins. So busy bags are a great thing to have. And if you wanna watch that video, I got it down below. But for today, we're talking about all the things that you can buy at the Dollar Tree that are perfect, perfect, perfect for sensory bins. Now, a sensory bin is usually a bin, a plastic shoe box, a box, any kind of container that you have. They could be any different sizes. And you put items in it to explore. And these are things that are great to feel and touch. And you can hide things and play with them and just kind of have your own kind of play experience. And another thing is touch. This is a really big thing in sensory bins because you can put items in there that fill your sensory box that are easy to touch or not so easy to touch. Children sometimes have a little bit of trouble with those sensory you know, receptors in their fingers and they don't wanna to touch something that's sticky or wet or fine or hard or too smooth. And so you can kind of explore things to open those possibilities to get your child to explore and to work on those senses. But here are some ideas that I found at Dollar Tree that you can put in a sensory bin. So walking around Dollar Tree looking for sensory bin items can be very overwhelming, but I've broken it down to four different categories. The first one is your container. There are so many containers that you can pick from at Dollar Tree, all different shapes and sizes, but look for one that's going to fit for you. Is it too big, too small? Dollar Tree does sell shoebox size boxes, which are just okay, but you can also find these cheaper at other stores. But I really like these dish pan bins because they have a really wide base and a nice big opening, and they're just the right size. If you can't find these containers, you can also use some alternatives like these Tupperware containers. They're a bit smaller, so if you have a smaller space and want to store them, they might be a great solution. They still will work. Once you've found your container, you now get to fill it up. I usually head over to the grocery section and look for rice. Rice is so great because it has a great texture. It's fun to pour, it's fun to fill containers up with, and it's very inexpensive. I also have a tutorial that you can go see on how to color the rice and make it rainbow colors. Another alternative are the noodles, the dry noodles to be exact. They come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. Each one has a different texture and they make a great sound when you're filling up containers and emptying them. I haven't tried it yet, but you can also try to do popcorn that has not been popped. That would be a really fun filler, kind of like the rice. and then. On also, you might want to consider beans. I've done some kidney beans before as long as they're clean and they've held up very, very well. Once again, just think about the texture and the colors. If you want some non-food sensory bin fillers, head over to the craft section. They have some really soft pom-poms. You can fill up a whole bin with all these. They come in different colors. Even seasonally, they have a different selection of colors. So these are really great. Sometimes you can find these feathers, which are also a really great filler for sensory bins because they're light and soft as well. They're a good starter sensory bin item. If you look in the floral section, you can find bags of these little rocks. I usually use them for counters. These little stones provide a whole different sensory experience particularly if you match them up with water and speaking of water of course you can put that in a sensory bin and fill it up and do a lot with that but you can also do some other kinds of wet sensory experiences like shaving cream if you're so brave just make sure to put down a towel or something because it will get everywhere and in the toy section you can find those gel balls that plump up when you add water to them they're really colorful and fun and these are perfect for a sensory bin they also have some gel filler too if you cannot find either of those I just did a do-it-yourself snow tutorial and all you need is some baking soda and some hair conditioner. So go back and watch that for some snow sensory bins. Next, you're gonna need some tools. Sometimes in the educational section, you can find tweezers like these right here, which are great for fine motor strength. They're just really good to pick things up with. Another great thing to do is to head over to the kitchen aisle. There are tons of things over there that you can put in a sensory bin. These measuring cups are perfect for scooping and pouring and putting things in. Or you can try some funnels like this set right here that comes with three. If you have rice or water, they will go really easily through these funnels. I did find these, I hadn't seen them before. They're a pack of four little bowls that you can scoop and they have a little spout to pour. I thought these would be perfect and you can't go wrong with that price. You get four bowls that are super colorful. 
if you decided to do a water sensory bin, you might wanna see if they have these little syringes or the basters so you can squirt water out. Keep an eye out for these containers too. They're made out of silicone and they come in fun shapes and colors and they'd be fun to scoop and pour things into. And lastly, enhancements. Now, you don't have to have these, but it certainly makes it a lot more fun if you do. They're anything that you can play with. So little toys and trucks and cars that you can run through your snow or run through all of the items in your sensory bin. Make sure to use your own discretion as a parent as to which objects are appropriate for the age of your child. And sometimes even seasonally, you can find some really great things like these coins or this heart table scatter. As a bonus, you can even use some of these items in different educational activities. In the school section too, don't forget to look there because these really chunky erasers would be really fun to find hidden underneath your rice sensory bin. Sometimes you can do some themes. Maybe you're doing a bug study or an animal study. These little figurines from the farm are great. And they even have some great alphabet things. So you can put these in the sensory bin and pull them out and learn your ABCs. Have fun with your sensory bins and let me know what kinds of things you put in your Dollar Tree sensory bins in the comments because your ideas are what inspire me to do some really fabulous videos. Click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.